While recording my last song in Logic Pro for iPad, I was having issues with latency. That is where you hear the sound slightly after you play it or sing it. If only I'd remembered to change these two settings, all my problems would be solved. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what those are. Let's go. So here's the situation. You've set yourself up a new audio track. You've got your guitar or your microphone ready to go. You turn on record enable, you turn on the input monitoring. And when you go to record, you're hearing that little bit of delay. When you play your note or when you sing, you're hearing it come back in your headphones just afterwards. That's latency. It's not completely solvable, but there are some things you can do to help it. And that's what we're gonna show here now. The first is to change your IO buffer settings. Here's how to do it. Go to the settings in the top right corner. Want to tap on the three dots and tap on settings. You then want to come down to audio on the left and you'll notice that you've got all of your audio devices here. Now this should be the name of the audio interface or device you're using to record. And you'll also see this one, the IO buffer. This can be set from 64 samples right up to 512. Now there's a long and complicated explanation for IO buffers and samples, but the simplest way to remember is that when you're recording, you want less. And when you're mixing, you want more. The reason being that choosing a lower amount of samples means that you'll get lower latency. It will put a little bit more pressure on your processor, so that can cause some sort of audio clicks and pops and things. When you're recording, that's not a big deal as long as it's not capturing those. However, when you're mixing, you want the most pristine sound. You want all those plugins to be able to be used, and you don't want a really big overhead on your processor. So that's where you'd choose a larger number of samples. It'll depend on you, your project, the plugins you're using and the iPad that you're running Logic on. But experiment with this, 128 is kind of the happy place for most people most of the time. So you've experimented with the IO buffer, maybe you've dropped it down to 64 samples and you're feeling that it's better, but you're still getting a little bit of latency. Well, there's another mode that you can use in Logic Pro and it's called low latency monitoring mode. To access this, we once again go to the top right, go to settings, and this time we want to go to the general tab here under app settings and audio. Yes, yeah, kind of hidden. And here it is. We're going to turn this one on low latency monitoring mode. Once again, there's a super detailed description for this, but in simple terms. Again, what this does is it limits any plugins that are going to add latency. So it may disable those plugins if they have latency over and above this limit, which you set. It's set to five milliseconds. You can set it from one to 30. So if you put this right down to one, it'll mean that you're getting the lowest possible latency, but it may turn off some of the plugins. If you have it at 30, it's not going to do a whole lot because you're still going to get that bit of latency in. It won't actually reduce it as much. So try it with five. And once again, a little trial and error will be required here. Let's jump out and show you what this has done. Oh, before we show you the detail, a quick tip here. If you want to get this button on your control bar to turn off and turn on low latency monitoring quickly and easily, go to your settings here in the top right corner, tap on customize control bar, come over to modes, and you'll notice that you've got this one. If with this off, you won't have the button. If you turn it on, you'll have that button there. I recommend at the same time here, if you go to display, turn on this one, your CPU and memory, because this will let you actually track how much of your CPU, your processor, or your memory is being used. You can interchange that by tapping on there and it'll go between CPU and memory. That's good for trying to find that balance between low latency and making sure your processor is not overcooked. So we've got low latency monitoring on. Let's again record enable and turn on our monitoring for this track. If we now come here to our mix Mixer, this is the easiest way to see what's going on because if we scroll up, you'll see that we've got some orange stuff here. Now, this will vary depending again on the processor in your iPad, what plugins you're using, but we can see here that anything that's orange, so these two buses and this adaptive limiter have now been bypassed. They've been removed from the chain and that's because these plugins have more than five milliseconds of delay, which is going to cause latency. If we turn off low latency monitoring, they go back to blue, so it'll be processed through those. So it's a really good way because what I can do now is record through this without low latency monitoring on, hear what it sounds like, see if there's any latency. If I'm getting problems, I can quickly and easily just put that on and then record again and hear the difference. And trust me, 
If you haven't used this, if you haven't played with IO buffer and low latency monitoring, yeah, you're missing out here because it can really improve the timing of those epic guitar and vocal parts. So there's a couple of tips to get you started and to reduce the latency of your recording. If you've got other tips that you'd like to share with me and with the community, go ahead and drop those down in the comments. And while you're there, check out the more than 50 other videos I have all about creating, recording, releasing your best music using Logic Pro for iPad. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.